Now let's take a look at the view tools. So when you're in Houdini, if you go to the camera tool down here, you can left mouse button to tumble, middle mouse button to track, and right mouse button to dolly. Now, these tools work uh, while you're in the camera tool, but if you then decide to start working, so you're, let's say, in the move tool and you've started to animate a little bit and you've, you're not, you don't want to go back to the camera tool, uh, then you can temporarily evoke the view tool by using the spacebar key. So spacebar, left mouse button, spacebar middle, and spacebar right. And essentially, the space bar um, can also be replaced by the Alt key. So the Alt key will work with those three hotkeys. Uh, you can also do space bar G to focus on your selected objects, space bar A to look at everything. And if you turn on a construction grid, a construction plane, space bar H will focus on that. If there's no construction grid, it'll just do select all. But Now if I go back to the camera tool, uh, I can right click to get a menu to see what many of these options are and to remind myself of the hotkeys. Uh, you can also do different views here in this view. So you can do uh, two gives you a top view, three gives you a front view, four gives you a right view, and if we press one we'll go back to a perspective view. Now another way of looking at the different views is if we go V radial button and we go four views. Uh, now we can see them all at the same time and we can link the ortho views so that they actually uh, work together as a team and if we want to uh, we can focus on any one of these anytime so we can go spacebar B to just expand that out and spacebar B would take us back to the four views and we could use spacebar B on any one of the views to bring it forward. Now we'd like to take a quick look at the tumble tool uh, and how it works in here. Now you watch as I click here, I left click, you'll see that I created a pivot point around that thing I cl clicked on when I first started tumbling. And that's the default behavior of how Houdini's view tool works. And then if you click an empty space, it'll just use the last pivot available. Uh, in this case here, we use that grid. Now that's called set pivot. Now we can also do keep pivot, which keep pivot, well, it's gonna keep the last pivot you had, which, which is, this case was the, uh, the, the guy in the center. Uh, but as you tumble around, you'll see that that changes. So you've got those two kinds of pivots that, that are worth being aware of. Sometimes people find it a little strange when they click off to the left and everything tumbles around the left. But that's intentional because it's, it's very good if you're in a scene far away. There's also some options there for some other areas of Houdini, zooming and, and dolling. Uh, we can also add a camera in here. And the camera becomes a physical thing. You'll see there's actually a node for it in the node network. Uh, and if we tumble around, uh, we lose the camera. Uh, but what we do do is we get to see the camera. So we're no longer looking through the camera, but there's the camera looking at the character. And we can bring it back by going to this menu and picking it from there. Now, if we don't want to lose the camera, we can click on these handles. So those are handles within the camera that allow us to to manipulate or we can click this little lock button and now our traditional view tools will keep us focused looking through the camera. These are actually changing the position and orientation of the camera. You've got to be careful of that because it might change uh, the way you don't want to. But Now if we click this little icon up at the top we can do what a sort of pan and scan. So this allows us to zoom in and out of the scene and what's happening is we're not changing the camera at all. The camera's staying exactly where it was uh, and all we're doing is we're changing sort of the crop of that. So this is great if you've got a lockdown camera that you're happy with the way it is and all you want to do is zoom in and make a little change from that particular camera angle and that's what this would allow you to do. So a 2D sort of pan and scan. And if you uh, control click you can just re return that back to full full screen everything good to go. Now another option that the you have in the view tool um, you can go back to the 3D if you want, but you can also go to this option here, which is more of a gaming um, set of tools. So WASD, uh, and so you can walk through the space like that. You can also control the speed of it as you do that. And so this is anyone more in the game space who wants to get a feel for their, you know, you're working on a set and you want to walk through that set in sort of a game-like way, um, this would do. You can also actually control, add a controller uh, to Houdini and, and do it that way, but 
for now you've got that and then the mouse button would you take a look around the way that you do in a video game and if you just say okay we'll turn that off now you go back to our normal view uh, and actually the the pivot is where it was there what we want to do is actually set the pivot go back to set pivot which is the default behavior and now when I go to tumble I'll tumble around that that character instead of using the um, the pivot left over from the the games approach so now you've seen a whole bunch of different options within the view tools you've seen how to set up a camera how to work with a camera in relation to views um, you've also got the network view where you can um, right click to zoom in and out and middle click to, to, to pan so some of the similar hotkeys to what you're using the 3d view can be used there